Hello there, Aries. Welcome to your mid-October 2016 tarot reading. So um, I've got some really, really good cards here that might indicate, you know, like social outings and things like that. So social social life really picking up. Um, that's what I'm feeling for the next two weeks. Now, for those of you who are dealing with an earth sign, so this is a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn, their sun, moon, or rising. I still see like some communication blockages. I see you looking at them. I see them turning their back. I see them looking at you and you turning your back. So there's some type of a discordant energy. This might be like um, somebody that you're dealing with either romantically as a friend or like you're, you're kind of uh, missing one another. I feel like your energy levels like you're on different wavelengths. So you're not really catching one another at, um, you know, at the right time. Uh, on top of that, if this is like a romantic partner that has been problematic, especially, I do feel there's something like um, like a finality associated with this union between you and them. And I do sense as well that um, a part of you is thinking about this person. A part of you is kind of like longing for the past. And I feel very strongly like back in July, something might have happened. I don't know if there was like a falling out, some arguments, something, some bickering that might have happened in July that... Um, that might have like disrupted this relationship but i do feel that you know you're you're turning your back on them you're moving on with your life and um i feel for a lot of you you are socially dating other people i feel like this is somebody that is quite that has been quite significant in your life i feel you turning your back and you have another romantic partner that is in store for you or it, that is already already in the picture he or she is shown up here as a water sign, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio. This is somebody I feel is pursuing you very, very, um, um, you know, like um, sincerely, okay? Um, I do sense there is some hesitation on your end about getting involved with this water sign. I feel like you might have a friend that has probably dated or has been involved with this water sign. So you don't know how socially acceptable it is to get involved with this person. At the same time, I feel like this water sign has been in your life for quite some time. So you might be a little bit hesitant about breaching, you know, that crossing that that friendship barrier or you might have seen how they were in the, the past with, you know, other people that they have dated. So you're like really not sure what you want to do. But I do feel they are pursuing you ardently and sincerely. I do feel their feelings are are strong, are um, profound, are trustworthy. So I, I feel like you might go ahead with this. With that earth sign, I do see blockages that are not going to uh, allow the relationship to come together. Uh, linked up with the earth sign is the nine of cups reverse, which means that there is some discordant energy. I keep seeing this with this earth sign that's preventing um, you, you know, it's preventing you from achieving emotional happiness, emotional satisfaction. So I feel like you're going to go ahead with something else. Okay. So uh, for others of you who are single, newly dating out on the, the market and things like that, what I have coming through at the bottom of the deck here is the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups um, generally indicates, you know, social outings, uh, social get together and expanding your social base, having a lot of um, activities, going out cheering. And, you know, um, I, I see like people watching games. I don't know if you're a big sports fan. I see a lot of people there at a a social function but they're all staring at one direction so that usually indicates to me like a concert a spectator sport type of a situation but I see everyone is like cheering on and looking in one direction so I feel like it might be just um overall like watching sports and things like that what I'm also getting is that um one of the things that I want you to I, I feel like for some of you you have a water sign, you have uh, detached yourself from them. And I feel like there's going to be uh, some running into them again. Okay, so I feel like in the past, there might have been either an emotional distance or a geographical distance between the two of you. And then for the next two weeks, I see them coming back into the picture. So you might, you know, just like, randomly stumble upon them so I feel like this is somebody significant and I do see reconciliation I do see like you know if the the previous entanglement has been had been bad I do feel that there's room for reconciliation here 
Your financial situation, I do want to warn you against betting. If you are watching anything and if you're taking bets, I don't feel that it's going to pan out too well, okay? So just keep a rein on that and at least, you know, don't bet more than you're willing to lose because I feel like you might be caught up in the whirlwind of this situation. You might be prone to just emotional betting, which is, you know, it's sort of like getting riled up by the crowd and making bets that are not well re researched or that are not the wisest investments okay investment opportunities overall um i don't feel that it's a good month to do anything new to like branch out and invest okay what i'm also feeling as well is um sorry for the dogs barking what i'm also feeling is that um I'm, I'm also sensing that for those of you who are just working, I do feel work being very, very stable. It's mainly the relationship sector that is, uh, that's where I'm seeing most of the hiccups, okay? So in your periphery, I have here the seven of uh, pentacles in the reverse. So the seven of pentacles in the reverse tells me that there has been a relationship that you have devoted a great deal of time in. And I feel like deep down, you know, because of that initial sunk cost in emotional investment, even though that you know that the, the, the relationship partner is kind of like away from you, it's gone out of the picture. I feel like a part of you is just like, what if, you know, he comes back or she comes back? What if we can do have a do over? So a big part of you knows it's not going to work, but a big part of you still wonder about, you know, um, I've invested so much in this and I, I want it to work out. So I do feel that energy. I do feel like it's it's kind of like in your periphery. It's something that you're thinking about, but not heavily, okay? But I do see the earth sign as somebody that you're heavily thinking about. And then I do see the water sign as somebody who is kind of around you, who who's looking for a way into your life, okay? So overall, um, it's very other oriented. It There's a lot of room here for social get togethers, uh, hanging out with girlfriends, like having girls night out, having guys night out. And I do see overall a lot of merriment, okay? Just no betting and refrain from any new investment opportunities until... Um, I, I would say until October, I'm sorry, uh, November, okay? I would say like around the 9th, the 10th of November or so. I feel like that's a better way for you to go. So just be careful about that. I do see overindulgence, over drinking. So keep an eye out for that as well, okay? So um, Aries, I do wish you the best and enjoy your Halloween um, time frame. And, you know, best of luck to you guys. Take care.